Rene Hills Truva Perik has a law Zion. Rikamo Koma Dovit. How much did Dovit get up? His Alva and the desire of Hayano Abo. And want the world to come. Shenema Lule Amanti Leo is with Hashem Be'er Tzachayim. We'll go down below to the Pirush. We're going to learn that uh, we cannot comprehend in any sense the goodness that we will have in the world to come if the we're going to learn also whether or not the Teva in this world will change in the days of Mashiach and we begin again with the words in Zion how much was this generation came up and, and desired Kama comes to the Postic in Tillam 63 2 Tamal that my soul thirsts for you my heart, heart desires you. Shenema, it says, Lule Eman to the Oish Bezuv Hashem Be'ad Zchayim. And this is the part, the, the, the postic that's found in the Dovet Hashem Oiri that we say throughout the month of Elul. B'nei B'nei Yomen, to the Aderes, Saitz and Brochus on the postic in Tulum, 27. Lule Eman to the Oish Bezuv Hashem Be'ad Zchayim. Tono Mishmed Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi taught us. Lomo nokud alule. Why is it the why is the the emphasis on lule? It would seem the very minimal. Oma dova the vnei akodesh boruchu. Dova said before the rebbeinu shalom. I am sure that you pay good reward to tzaddikim in the future, but any I don't know. If I have a chedek amongst them or not, maybe the chedek will cause it to cease to be my portion. So they want chayan abo, but and it says lule amanti. From here we see that he's talking about the world to come, to see the good of Hashem in the land of the living, where your life is truly life. Now the Ram continues. Our rabbis cried, "Enu hachomim." I'll be showing them. Our rabbis have already told us. The Torah says, "Elam abo, the Torah, the Tzadikim, receiving an abo, and koyach be odon laasig." There's no way that a person can reach it. I'll bore you on it. It's true in its total truth. Vein yodua yodea goyd lo v'yofio va'otzmo, and he does not know its greatness, its beauty, or its strength. All of the good that the Nevi'im of Yisrael will ultimately teach us. We're only referring to things of the physical being. That we, Shanana Mary Yisrael, that Kla Yisrael will benefit from them, be Moish HaMelech HaMashiach. As we learned elsewhere, that is a different. The Ramam differentiates between Olam Abo and the world above and Olam Abo and the world below. Is man shetasa and shol li Yisrael when the kingdom will come back shall come back to Kla Yisrael. Al tevis chay Olam Abo, but the goodness that is found in the world to come when tzaddikim wax and live from the aura of the Shechina. There is no way to give it a value or describe it. And even though the who saw it in a sense in their prophecy never stated uh, that what it looked like to them because otherwise it would minimize it. Ushi Shayo Oma, that's why Yeshua says in 643, that, that no eye has ever seen that which is going going to be for Tzadik Eloi Lomabo. Yas Elamachakeloi, that which Akkadish Boch will do to those who await that his revelation. Meaning, 
the goodness that no eye of a Novi saw. The only one who sees it is God. Also, Isa Alikim Lo Adam Shemachakaloi. Akosh Bohu created it for the person who is desirous of receiving it. In other words, even the Navim who saw that the goodness is going to come to Ka Yisrael, that's not Olam Abba, that's rather the Moisa Moshiach, which precedes Olam Abba according to the Rambam when we have a sp- purely spiritual world, whereas the Moisa Moshiach according to the Rambam will remain a physical world that is people are conducting themselves properly. That all of the Nevi'im only taught us about Moshe Mashiach. No one else has seen it other than God Himself. Now the question is, will the nature of the world change when Mashiach comes? The case of Mishnah cites, Who is the source for this? is a member of Avchia Ba'abo in Shabbos. And he asks a question, and the Gemara would seem she, that he disagrees on Shmuel, because Shmuel says that there's no difference between this our times, the nature of our, the world in our times, to that of the nature of the world in the times of Mashiach. Just that, they will no longer be the yoke of this world upon us, the yoke of strange kingdoms, or the yoke of a kingdom other than the kingdom of heaven. Because today, we suffer from Shibud Amalchus. And when Mashiach will come, the Memshola will return to Yisrael, and we will no longer have the yoke of foreign lands. And he doesn't mention here Abkhir that the prophets prophesied with the consolation and the goodness that will come to Yisrael in the time of Mashiach. And Perak Tes, Aloha Beis, in Malochim, he writes, like the Halach is like Shmuel, that there's no difference between this world and the world to come. Ella only Shibud Malchus. And how here does he seem to be talking about something which will be beyond the natural order of things? And the Lacha Mishnah and Sanhedrin asked from Sanhedrin, and the Brochis, he asked that Lamadal and Aleph. All the Nevi'im did not prophesy only the Moshe Mashiach. In Sanhedrin 91, we find that Chiz de Romeo, Chiz asked the question, Ksiv, it says, the Chofwa Alavona, and this, the moon will be embarrassed, the Boisha Hamo, and so will the sun. Because the angels of Hashem will find themselves in Hatsin Yerushalayim. Rashi explains that your, the light of the sun and the moon will be less intense. And it will not give us the, it, it will there will not be the source of light, light. And it says in Shayo <coughs> that the Yor Alvono of the moon will be like the light of the sun, and the light of the moon will be seven times that of the Or of the seven days. As we see that the Or Alvono and the Chamo will be more, it will be stronger than they are today. So, how can you say? that it's going to be normal. And he explains, the Moshe Mashiach, after, when Mashiach comes, after the exile will be concluded, then the Or Alvona will be Ke'or HaChamo. Will be Ke'or HaChamo. But also Lovoy. Then, then we will bask in the light of the seven days, of the light of the seven days of creation, the light of Hashem, and, and, the from the great light of the tzaddikim that will be in our presence, the light of the tzaddikim will, will out out shine that of the uh, light of the Levon or the light of the Chamo. So Yemo asks, according to Shmuel, that there's no difference between today and, and the days of Mashiach, only the oak of outside influence. How can he explain this psukim? Because according to him, there will no be difference in the order of Bria even when Mashiach comes. The Gemara answers that where the Tzadikim are found, there the Orachama will be greater. But in the 
the Machn of Shechina, there the light will be less than that which emanates from the Tzadikim. So we find him so from Daf Samaches Amid Aleph, which surely we'll learn in the Daf Yomi. So it would seem from these different sugyas that there is a difference between their opinions and the, uh, the opinion that feels that the Nevi'im or only the Moshe Mashiach disagrees on the one who says that there is no difference between the Moshe Mashiach to today except for Shia Malchus. So that the mission says, how can their own Paskin both? That uh, the Nevi'im are talking about Moshe Mashiach. Furthermore, we ask that in Shabbos it's written, a person should not go out with a bow, which is an article, an item of war. We went out his chayav chatos because it's not a, a, it's not something that's considered embellishing a person like a like a like a jewel, jewelry for a woman. What well, Leza says, they are embellishments. If uh, I say, no, they show that we're still human beings. Animalistic in nature, as it says, Bechitotu Chavoyson. Shayo says that ultimately we will take our swords and make them into plowshares. The Gemara says, Omar Abiyeliezer, since they are considered a garment for a person, why won't they be around when Mashiach comes? According to you, if you say that it's a it's an embellishment. So he answered, Abiyeliezer answered, because you won't need them. So Yimor says, the answer is not like Shemur, that says that the world will still continue to be in a state that it is today, and there will be the necessity of defend, defending oneself. And we'll turn the page. Uh, and Abeloza is the opinion, like the one who says that uh, the fact of a perfect world will only happen later, not at a time, not like the, when Shemur is talking about. It would seem that the one who says that Nevi'im did not prophesy only in Mitzvah Mashiach disagrees on the one who says that there will not be any difference. Now, I'm Paskins in El Shabbos Kechachomim that a person is not allowed to go out with ornaments. That's not like Shmuel. And here he brings the Perek Tez and Lechus Molochim that there's no difference between the world, this world and the world to come, or in Shibin Malchus, so it should be an embellishment. So Lecha Mishnah tries to, to answer that the Ram doesn't pass like Shmuel. And even though he mentions Shmuel's statement, you can differentiate. There will be a difference, uh, such as the sun shining more, and there's a Shinui. Yeah, it's only manhogas oilam, but it's not neged the teva. In other words, it will not be some a time when we will take our uh, swords and beat beat them into plowshares. Going to this, the one who says that all the neviim did not, the navi says, those who say that the neviim only only said prophecy about the Mashiach, I will I am a boy, a person, no lie, I saw it, even not the prophets is of the opinion that everything that's new which will be in the world which is the opposite of what we have today like allowing uh, nullifying our swords and our uh, spears and all the other ornaments of war that's not that is not the opposite of the natural order that's the Mitzvah Mashiach but Shmuel says there will be no difference even in the Mashiach and even poverty and, and rich riches that are not necessitated by creation but happen to be a, a part of life will not change either this is what Shmuel says there's no difference between this world and the time of Mashiach only the oak of servitude to for, foreign nations as well as not being able to serve Hashem Thus, even somebody who benefits that from things that are not uh, the opposite of the Teva will continue. 
as he brings a proof from it from the Pasuk. The Torah says they shall never cease to be a poor man in this world. Then that means in Yemaisa Mashiach too there will be poor people. Just that the yoke of outside influence will be removed. But the Ramam is of the opinion that even in the time of Mashiach there will be the Nebuah, many of the prophecies of the Nebuah, that there will be a change in the world. And even though they're not a change in the natu- nature of the world, and like Yeshayahu says, the girls are Evim Keves, that the wolf will lie down with his sheep. And it's a Derech Moshel on the peace and tranquility that will be amongst all the nations in the time of Mashiach. So Lecha Mishnah adds the proof that this, this prophecy is not simple because the chapter of a wolf lying down with a sheep is written in the Novi together with the Posik, which tells us about Melech Mashiach. Because it says over there in Posik Aleph in 11, Yotza Choyta Migeza Yishai, and there shall come out a sprout from the, from the, from the family of Yishai, the Neitza Mashiach of Yifroch, and it will emanate from the roots of David Amelach. And that, that's certainly, this Navu is talking about the Moshe Mashiach, because Mashiach comes from David. And since Shmuel is the opinion that there's no difference, and we'll turn the page, to the days of Mashiach on Yeshiv and Malchus, it certainly, it would seem, it's a Moshe. And those who disagree, do not disagree on Yemaisa Mashiach, just that things will be, new items will come into the world in the aspects of the order of the world. But things that are the opposite of Teva will not t- change at the time of Mashiach. And the Rambam who cites Shmuel, as he stated them, he doesn't mean to say that that's always going to remain that way, but uh, but rather that afterwards it will change to be into the next uh, level where where things will change. That's Olam Abba. But still the question is, the Gemara and Perek Chelek uh, seems to, to state, it says, it would seem to be saying that the world's nature will change and that needs def- definition and clarification as to why uh, or how that will take place if, according to the Rambam, there's not going to be a change in the natural order of things in the time of Mashiach.